Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to share with you how you can create a very simple base mesh that looks kind of like this. We're continuing to work on our siren head monster here, and this is a pretty important step before we go on to sculpting. Alright, let's just hop right into this. Usually it's a good idea to start by looking at some reference, which I have done. I just looked up some images of siren head, and these are what you get. This is actually made by the creator of siren head. And super, yeah, super lanky, fairly skeletal looking. All right, we can start with that. For base mesh, we really don't need to do much detail. So let's just go Shift A and start with a plane. I'm going to go Alt G, make sure that's in the center. And if we go Tab and into Edit Mode, I'm going to hit 1 on my keyboard. And that will go into Vertex Select here. Then we can hit M and Center. Now what this has if you go into x-ray view, it's just a vertex there. So if we grab this and move it down to kind of like the base of the pole area here, that's probably a good starting point for us. And then we can hit E and Z, and that will bring it down a little bit. Very nice. So let's talk about the skin modifier. It's pretty helpful. Good talk. Um, so if we enable that and go back into edit mode, you can see it's kind of put some geometry just around our single edge that we have here, which is, like I mentioned, super helpful. If we go into modifiers once more and go mirror modifier, and then bump that up to be before the skin modifier, if we are in edit mode and we hit E to extrude, then it will be the same on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so, so far this is a little bit too lanky. If you go control and A and then move your mouse. It's kind of like you're scaling up a vertex. So you can do that with these guys up here maybe. Definitely with this big one in the middle here. And I'm actually going to move that out on the Y a little bit and down on the G a little bit. And let's scale up these shoulders a little bit as well. It is fairly lanky but eventually I'm going to add in quite a bit of muscles and kind of a little bit of a skeletal system. So I like to have it starting out at least a little bit bigger than we need. All right, from here, I'm just going to go into the side view with three on my number pad and just extrude this down here, and down here. This will be kind of like the hips area. And we can just go into front view with one on the number pad and extrude to the side like this. And then once again, control A to scale this vertex down. And we can kind of go like this a little bit and then E, Z. Then we have nice long legs. I'm going to make that a tiny bit smaller for the knee area. And this is kind of normal proportions. And like I said before, this is going to be super lanky. So I'm actually going to take the knees down to about this point. And if you want, you can extrude a little knee joint there. Scale that up a tiny bit. Go down for the bottom part of the leg. Scale that down. I don't know, something like that. And we can just grab this and do something like that. If you want, you can extrude some feet. I don't really like feet, but I guess I'll extrude them anyways. <laughs> and up here with the shoulders, if we just go E, these can go out to the sides a tiny bit. And down to, I don't know, mid-lower leg area probably. These shoulders are bothering me, so I'm going to scale them up a tiny bit. All right, something like that should do. And also I'm going to scale up the main body area, grab this, move it down a tiny bit. Okay, so this is our very basic start. And that's alright, this will work for us pretty well I'd say. Now this looks super blocky at the moment. If we go control 1, you get this kind of nice smoothed out form. And this will be a pretty nice starting spot for our sculpt, which I'll go over next week. It's a lot of fun doing sculpting, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that tutorial. But until then, this is our base mesh. Now I know this looks kind of silly at the moment, but if we go over to next week's file, I did some sculpting and just went overboard with it. And you can see this is what I got. I can't promise we'll get this with the tutorial next week, but we'll probably get something pretty close to it, if not even better. Anyways, that's this tutorial, super short, super simple. If you found it useful and you'd like to see more tutorials like this, there's a link in the description that says free hydraulic kit bash elements. 
And when you click this, it will actually add you to my email list. And I've set that up so that within a few minutes, there should be a pack of hydraulics arriving in your inbox. And I created these in Blender, so they're best used in Blender. But it's possible those will give you quite a bit of a jump start when you're working on mechanical projects. And the other thing you should be aware of is every week whenever I post a tutorial, I just send out to that email list so that everybody is kept up to date. But with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day. I'll catch you next week, and cheers! Thank you.